What's up everybody? It's your girl Rachel and I'm back with another video. I know, it's so exciting. Anyways, let's get pumped up. Let's get our stretches in. I'm excited for today's workout. It's a new one, something I haven't done before with you guys. It's going to be like lightweight training, very, very lightweight, like super lightweight. And um, it's gonna be mostly cardio. I figured January 1st, like everyone's trying to get back into shape. Everyone wants to lose weight. Everyone wants to get rid of those calories they took in during the Christmas and Thanksgiving and you know, New Year's. So I figured let's do a little bit of both. Let's mix it up together. I think that that'll be exciting. I hope everyone had great holidays i hope everyone was really safe on new year's i thought i was going to be like super excited for new year's i only had one drink and i went to bed at like at like eight o'clock so mm, i partied hard you know and i went to bed at 8 p.m not 8 a.m because I'm an animal, so, you know. <laughs> All right, so if you are someone who does not do regular weight training, I would not use any weights. Don't use weights at all, just get the cardio in. And if you're a quad or even a para and you haven't been working out regularly, please make sure there's someone near you in case you lose your balance and fall over or something because I don't want anyone to get hurt. Please make sure that you stretched with me. If not, please pause the video and stretch those arms. Stretch your neck. Alrighty. So um, the first workout we're gonna be doing is called the C. You're literally just doing a C. So instead of going like all the way around, we're just going halfway. It's called the C. All right, so you guys ready? All right, begin. These are all new. I haven't done these either. I thought I found a bunch that I thought would be exciting to do, put them together and get in shape together. So, I hope everyone's holidays were great. Make sure if you haven't checked out zookfitness.com, you do that because there's an archive that's updated weekly on different workout routines, both weight training and cardio, with both men and women, with both para and quad. It's pretty amazing, just saying. Plus, the merchandise on there is top notch, just saying. Keep going, you guys are doing so good. I don't know if everyone else is as excited for this new year as I am. You know, I am. I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling, dang it. One more. Nice, nice, you guys did great. Okay, so the next workout we're gonna be doing is called the goal post. And you wanna try, try our hardest, okay? To keep your elbows at the length of your shoulder and you're just gonna have your arms out and down, up and down, up and down. It's pretty simple. Before that, let's do a stomach exercise. It's my favorite kind, you know what I'm gonna say. Deep belly breath in, fill your belly up with air, and then release it, push all the air out of your stomach, hold that, and then suck in, ready? Perfect. All right, you guys, you ready to do the goal post? You guys ready? Begin. So it was really cool. I was on Facebook the other day. I was on Facebook today, okay? I was on Facebook today. And a memory popped up from 2020 and it said, this year I'm gonna lose weight, build muscle, get my license and save for a car. Two years later and I'm about to hit all those goals <laughs> within six months of this month I will hit all of those goals it's been rough it's been rough obviously <laughs> I started my weight loss two years ago 
where I was the heaviest I've ever been, about 30, 35 pounds heavier than I am right now. Push through the burn. I know you're feeling the burn. Keep pushing through. So I started that two years ago. Slow and steady wins the race. I always tell you all that. Keep going. Just give me a few more seconds. I want you to push through and finish strong. Three, two, one. Great job, you guys. The next one we're gonna be doing, it's called the chest press. And we keep our elbows aligned with our shoulders and you're just gonna be going in and out. Going in and out. If you're like me, I have a little bit of quad strength, or core strength, but not a lot, and I'm not supposed to be using it right now. So I use my head as counterweight. So if my arms are in front of me, my head leans back. If my arms are like by my side or coming out, I counterweight by putting my head out in front of me. That way I'm not flopping all over the place. So that's what we're gonna do with this one. And this is called the chest press. Are you guys ready? I am. <laughs> Ready, go. I must look like a psycho sometimes because I'm like, y'all ready for some pain? Are you ready to sweat with a weird smile on my face? But you know, if I don't get you guys pumped for this, who is? Because I know a lot of people when they, especially when you first start your fitness journey, like I know when I first started, I was not excited to work out every day. Heck no, I did not want to. But then I got addicted to the workout, man. I got addicted to the goals I was hitting. I got addicted to getting more independent. I got addicted to just conquering everything I was putting in front of me. It was amazing. And now you couldn't stop me. In fact, when I had my surgery and I couldn't work out for like three weeks, I was not a happy person. I'll tell you that right now. I was like, I need endorphins pumped into my brain, y'all. Three, two, one. I know it burns, but that's good. It, that means that your heart's pumping, we're getting your metabolism moving. The next one we're gonna be doing is just like pushing in your chair. All right, you guys ready? Begin. So you guys could also Check me out at um, Rachel Toughest Nails on my Facebook. In case you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns. Maybe you got a, a problem area or maybe there's something that you want to work out but you can't figure out how to make it adaptive. Let me know because I love doing stuff like that. I could make a video on it and show you guys it and it'll be fun. I know you're starting to lose your breath now. That's good. You want to push through that though? A little discomfort, good. You should be feeling burning, but nothing sharp. No sharp pains. Keep going, you guys. You're doing really, really well. Push through the burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Great job. Okay, now we're gonna do some really like self-explanatory. We're doing arm circles forward. You guys ready? I know you're thinking arm circles, Rachel, that's it. <laughs> Please, let's see how, you're, what, how you feel after a minute of doing them. Begin. Talk about getting warm in the winter time. In the winter time is the easiest time of the year to get like used to working out because if you're someone who's cold all the time, it's like, well, work out, you'll get warm. Trust me, do this cardio circuit, the training that I'm showing you right now, trust me, you're gonna be warm because I'm burning up right now. Keep going. Remember, this is good for your lungs, it's good for your heart, it's good for your cardiovascular system. You have to work out more than just your muscle. Ooh, I know you're feeling it, because I am. Keep going, you guys. 
five, four, three, two, one. Great job, great job. You guys are doing great. Let me tell you, you're doing great. So the next one we're gonna be doing is the same as the arm circles, just backwards. Ready, begin. This one, this one's gonna burn because it comes right after the first one. Stuff like this is really, really good for balance and core training, core, core strength training. Stuff like this, always challenging yourself to level up, get stronger, proud but never satisfied as they say. Keep going you guys. I know it's burning real bad right now. Push through it. If I know you could do it. I know you could do it. Push through it. Think of all the times someone said you can't. You can't do that. You're in a wheelchair. You can't do that. I can. Five, four, three, two, one. I told you you could. <laughs> you guys are killing it. You're killing it. You're killing it. Okay, the next one we're going to be doing is really simple. Just back and forth, just like this. You're like, oh, Rachel, that's nothing. Let's do it for a minute. And then you could say it's nothing. Y'all ready? <sighs> Begin. Speaking of, you can't. I used to hear that in rehab all the time. Like they put me in a mechanical wheelchair and I'm not hating on them at all. I just wanted to push my own chair. And for three days, my therapist, my physical therapist was like, you won't be able to do that. You won't be able to do it. But I'm stubborn y'all. I'm so stubborn and I begged him for so long. He finally gave in and was like, fine, we'll put you in it, but you're not gonna be able to push it. Took me 20 minutes to push probably like, I don't know, 10 feet. He was like, you are the most stubborn person I have ever met. And he quickly learned that if he told me I couldn't, he knew I was gonna figure out a way to do it. Ready? You're good. Great job. So the next one we're gonna be doing Ooh, this, these ones look fun. So this one, I kinda, okay, this is like um, a little difficult. So what I do is I kinda lean up against my, um, this push part right here, and uh, use my arm for balance. And you go up one arm, lean over. Very slow, you guys, very methodical. Be very careful. Take your weights off if you have to. Make sure that there's someone at the house with you. You guys ready? Okay, begin. I was really excited to do this one. It's like, oh, this looks like a fun workout. I'm gonna put this, whoop, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just very controlled and slow if you have to. I told you, see, I've done other cardio things like this with you guys and I'm like, man, they probably think they can't do it and that, but the truth is, is a lot of stuff takes me a minute of training. Like it takes like five, like a week, week or five times of doing it to get good at it before I can move quickly. And this is one of those workouts. I was like, oh, this will be perfect to show that we all start somewhere and there's nothing wrong with that. You guys are doing so good. I'm so proud of you. Keep going, keep going. Slow and steady. One more. Great job. So 
Let's see what the next one. What did I write down for the next one? Okay, so I thought this one would be a cool one to do with you guys too. I heard that this is like a huge upper body workout. It's called the prayer push. So you wanna to try to keep your arms right up against each other and it's really simple. You just push up and I know what you're thinking. That's not going to do anything. It will. <laughs> it will. It's killer workout. Killer workout. You guys ready? Remember to lean back with your head. So that way it's using the weight. So you're using the weight of your big dome. <laughs> so that way, if you have no, no core control like me, you could still do the workout without any assistance. You guys are doing great. I love mixing cardio with lightweight training. They're killer workouts, let me tell you. Please, please, after this workout, make sure you guys get 30 grams of protein in, please. At least 20 to 30 grams. I get in 30, but if you could only get in 20 grams to help heal those micro tears that we give ourselves when we're contracting our muscles, that'd be great. Because if not, you're just gonna keep breaking down those muscles. It's gonna take forever to build muscle. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that was killer, killer, I love that one. I love that one. So this one's a little different, but I thought it would be fun. Okay. Oh, cut that part out, Dylan, I'm sorry. Okay, so the next workout we're gonna do is really exciting, it's really fun. You just go like this and back up. Like this and back up. It's a great workout, you guys ready? Okay, begin. I like these because these really focus on core training. 